Hey guys, Mike here at MS Tutorials and welcome back to a new video. All right, well today we're gonna to do a quick Photoshop tutorial and what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a seamless texture, all right? Now, if you've been uh, modeling in Maya or 3ds Max or whatever, and you've been applying uh, 2D textures, you probably ran into an issue that when you repeat a texture, you see seams coming up, all right? Now, we're going to try to avoid that by taking a, um, an image and make it seamless, all right? So we're going to go to uh, File, Open, and let's see, I call this thing Texture. There we go. Okay, so we've got this file. Now, I can assure you, if you repeat this file, you're going to see very clear uh, uh, seams because we've got dark corners up here and so forth, and I'll demonstrate. If we go up to filter and we go to other and offset and we tweak the horizontal and vertical values and we'll just try to get them roughly in the middle Oop, all the way Bit back okay something like that all right so that's how that would look once they are stitched together. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to this guy, the clone stamp, and we're going to right click and select the size of our brush and bring that down a little bit more. That's probably better. And now what we're going to do is we're going to hold down the Alt key and we're going to left click. And what we're going to do is we're kind of loading up our brush, if you will. Now, once you've done that, you can start to kind of lighten up those dark spots like that. And every now and then, you're going to hold down the Alt key again and reload because you don't want to do everything with the same color because then it will look painted. OK, so I'm going to take this here and kind of mix that up a little. And then we'll hit the Alt key again. And again. And I think we're getting pretty close. All right. Now, what we're going to do to check is we're going to go up to Filter, Other, and Offset again. And now we're going to look and see if we still have these clear seams. And as you can see, we do not. All right. Now, this doesn't work with every texture file. If you, for example, have a vertically striped wallpaper and you want to kind of blend the, those two, that's not going to work, obviously. But it works nice with, uh, you know, concrete uh, textures, grass textures and so forth. All right. Or, for example, this in this case, I think this is paper. So that's how you do that. Uh, hopefully it was helpful. If you've got any questions, let me know. And that said, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.